Hey, Dave here from TabandSlot.com. Today on this video, I want to talk about a little bit more processing, uh, pre-processing that we do before we send a tab and slot part to laser cutting. Uh, if we open this piece up here, let me show you what we do. Um, now, on the case of our, our box here, this just wouldn't be required. But if we're trying to, if we're designing a weld fixture, if we're designing something um, with you know tight tolerances, something that we expect to be able to hold five, six, seven thousandths out of, then we do this pretty frequently. Um, when a laser blows out, when a plasma cutter has a problem, it's always going to be in the corner. It's always going to be in a square corner, right? That's always where the trouble's going to be. I put a lot of faith in CNC equipment, right? I know a CNC laser can cut a straight line. However, when that straight line needs to turn a sharp corner, that's when the that's when the problems start, right? So what we do is we actually go in and we clearance all of our slots and the bases of all of our tabs. So we make sure that the work is being done by the most accurate pieces of the geometry that the laser can cut, i.e the straight flat sections. So we'll clearance out all the corners and it just makes for a much easier assembly in general. So I wanted to show you um, how I do this. You can see, if, let me open this guy up here. You can see I've got about uh, half of this done. Okay, so now I like to do as little work as possible. So typically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do half of my part. I'm going to come up here I'm going to mirror it out. Um, this is It's real important that you've got your parts aligned to your user coordinate center or system, also your UCS, because that allows you to do things like this. I'm going to select the right planes. I'm going to select the cut and the fillet, and I'm going to mirror them over, and that's done. Okay. Now let me delete that real quick and just show you how quick and easy, because this seems like, wow, what a pain in the ass, right? It seems like a very time-consuming process. It's not. Let me show you how I do this. I'm just going to come in here, drop a corner on each, or drop a circle on each corner. I could pause the video, but this takes so very little time once you've got it systemized that we're just going to do it all live here. Okay, so what I do is I come in and I drop these circles. I don't worry about what they look like. I don't worry about anything except they're, they're in my corner. Right now, I can select them all, make them equal. I'm going to come back. I'm going to put a dimension on one of them. We're in quarter-inch material, so we'll make this 16th-inch diameter circle. Cut. Link the thickness. All right. So there's our circle cut. That's in there. Now all we got to do is come back in and put some fillets in. So if we tilt this just about like that, I'm going to use a 30-second fillet. You can see SolidWorks is going to allow me to grab edges whether they're visible or not. Put some fillets in here. Again, typically I would mirror this, but I wanted to show you that it really is only an extra couple of minutes time and it's going to improve the quality of your parts so dramatically. You will not believe what a big difference this makes when you go to assemble a tight tolerance tab and slot part. So is this required to build this box? No. And would I do it to build this quick and dirty box where we don't care if we're holding a quarter inch or three thousandths? No, I wouldn't. But if I'm going to get into welding fixtures or anything that involves holding a tight tolerance, anything tighter than probably about fifteen thousandths, then this is going to be worth my time. Okay, so now let me just go back out and uh, show you this and you can see this part is ready for cutting. We'll save it. We'll go back over here to our assembly and we'll run our interference texture and you can see we're good to go. Dave Igo from TabandSlot.com. Start dressing out your parts and you'll be much, much happier with the way they go together. See you in the next video.